Welcome to the Ultimate System Design course. This is the 10th episode of the System Design course. Make sure you've watched the previous videos in the series so that you have more context on today's video. Today, we're discussing some important resources that are going to be tremendously helpful in your journey for system design preparation. I will be leaving the links of all these resources in the description box of this video so you have them for reference. So the first is highscalability.com. This is a popular website with great articles on system design. In fact, if you were to just read these articles on a regular basis, you would end up getting really good at system design. Second is the Uber engineering blog. This has distilled information from some of the best engineers in the industry who shared their experiences, the issues they faced, and the efficient solutions they created to solve those issues. Highly recommended. The third is the Netflix technology blog. The engineers at Netflix have always been at the forefront of innovation in video streaming. You get to learn all about scaling microservices, cloud architecture, security, and use of cutting edge technology here. There's a lot of great stuff here, and all of the articles are seriously detailed and highly recommended. Fourth, engineering at Meta. Now this blog is not just great for system design or scalability related problems, but this is also a great place to stay updated on the latest tech in the market. They talk a lot about the new infra tools they've built, their new AI models like Llama, many open source technologies that were innovations from Meta, such as Bug2, Velox, GraphQL, and Redux. Meta has always led innovations in tech, since they were the first company to see so much volume of traffic, of content, and of messages. And they've always had to solve these problems before anyone else. The technologies that they open source are adopted across the industry. And this is why it's an important blog to follow. With such blogs, you learn from doers and not just instructors. When you study system design, it's important who you learn from and what your resources are. Learning from the wrong resources can be extremely detrimental. Number five, the Airbnb engineering and data science blog. If you have interest in building mobile apps, in data science, in machine learning, then the Airbnb blog is a great resource. They have some serious knowledge on distributed systems, which is a topic that comes under system design. Apart from this, they have many extremely popular open source projects, such as Apache Airflow, Enzyme, and Superset. And this is why it's a great resource to have on your list. Now that you know about quite a few websites and blogs that you need to follow, you wouldn't want to go and physically check these websites every single day, right? So the best way is to have Feedly, which is an app that lets you subscribe to the content of multiple websites and blogs, and it creates a feed that's curated for you. And this is something that you can do every day. And even I use it to stay on top of all the tech innovations that are happening in the industry. If you want to go above and beyond, then there are more such blogs like the Lyft engineering blog, the Slack engineering blog, the Spotify engineering blog. And there are more like Dropbox, Heroku, AWS, Pinterest, Quora, Twitter, and LinkedIn engineering blogs. Then there's medium.com, which is a great place to learn system design from. Now make sure you set up medium.com correctly and you follow the system design topic so that all the new articles tagged with system design are sent directly to your feed. And you can also search for system design articles specifically, like what I've done. This is content created and published by independent engineers that are doing some great work. Apart from websites and blogs, the other highly effective way to learn system design from is books. Some books that are highly recommended are Designing Data Intensive Applications by Martin Kleppmann, Clean Architecture by Robert C. Martin, Understanding Distributed Systems by Roberto Vitillo, System Design Interview by Alex Zhu, Fundamentals of Software Architecture by Mark Richards, Building Microservices by Sam Newman, and Designing Machine Learning Systems by Chip Hewen. Videos are a great way to learn too. I highly recommend learning from the Uber Engineering blog and from the Google Cloud Tech channel, and watching videos from the IBM Technology Channel. Now, there are a lot of paid courses out there too, and I've purchased many of those. My aim with this course is to give you a single place to learn all the concepts from. So I'm essentially going to condense all the information and knowledge from all the free and paid resources so that everything is available to you at one place for free. Just following this channel and bookmarking this playlist can be a great strategy to learn system design as well. All right, so now that you know how to keep learning on your own, we can start diving into some system design concepts from the next video onwards. 
In the very next video, we learn about abstractions and layering. In the seventh video of the series, we learned about modularization and it might be useful to rewatch it since from the next video onwards, we will continue our learning about other system design concepts and we will build up on these concepts as we go forward. Now, don't forget to subscribe and share this playlist with your friends or whoever you think can benefit from this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.